Hello, everybody. Look who it is. Hello. Graham Clark. Ta-da. Guest number eight on the Butt Pod, comedian extraordinaire Graham Clark. We just uh, shot the... Uh, we didn't shoot. We just recorded... <laughs> I shot some behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was unaware he was <laughs> filming the whole podcast. <laughs> Guest number eight on the podcast, The Butt Pod, which you can find at thebuttpod.com. How'd it go, Graham? I think it went really well. We covered a, a very wide span of topics. <laughs> I feel like I'm really cramming you out of the frame here. No way. This Let's is. Get you over to. Okay. There, look there at we it. go. I take up too much damn space. <laughs> Even though black is slimming. And gray is the opposite of slimming. <laughs> and also sweat hiding. <laughs> gray. It's very sweat hiding. Uh, it's a little warm in the garage mm -hmm. today. I know. I wore pants, which is uh, a favor to you. <laughs> yeah. It was a, you got the memo. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Now, you've been in the podcast game for a hell of a long time. If you don't know, Graham Clark does a podcast called Stop Podcasting Yourself. Yeah. We came over with the Mayflower. <laughs> with Dave Shimka. They've been uh, running doing a podcast since the late 70s. Mm -hmm. The disco era. Yeah. We originally, it was... <laughs> It was a, a co cocaine-based podcast. <laughs> we would talk about different uh, discotheques that we had visited. All the top tube tops <laughs> ranked from... That was our first, very first segment was top tube top. The fact that tube top was ever a thing, it's, first of all, it was a terrific idea. It's I'm, still a thing. From from a just like a horny teenage boy kind of situation, this, was yeah. like, this is ter tremendous. Yeah, and it was the last time they let horny teenage boys design women clothing. <laughs> if there was a way for me to wear a tube top and that was, just, you know, it didn't look hilarious, <laughs> I'd wear one because it seems very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Breezy is all get out. The closest thing we get is a tank top, and I cannot pull that look off. So <laughs> I don't think it's a. You got to be in some kind of wicked shape for that to look. Well, I guess the same can be said for the tube top. That's true. I guess what I'm thinking of is a moo moo. Is mostly what I'm. Ooh, a moo moo. Likes. Now that's one size fits all. Yeah, kind of a drapey, <laughs> yeah. flowy, flowy garment, underwear optional kind of. Uh, now we're cooking. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. <laughs> yeah. This is all fantastic stuff that we could have but didn't talk about on the Butt Pod podcast. Were there any specific moments in the podcast that you thought went well, that you liked? Anything stick out in your mind? Yeah, uh, the, one of my favorite things is uh, hearing about Brent Butt's first trip to the movies. Is a, <laughs> it is a story that I'm sure will stick with you for the rest of your life. With a surprise twist ending, <laughs> especially for one person. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry, Laurie Davis. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was, I think that was my, my big standout. And I think uh, I really liked the trivia thing. I, I learned a whole lot. That's the whole point of it. There's a segment on the butt ball called, called More Smarter. Mm -hmm. The idea being people submit uh, stuff. To, to us via the uh, internet, often via email. You can email thebuttpod at gmail.com if you have a segment for More Smarter. Mm -hmm. And they drop little bits of trivia. Yeah, tidbits, and... Arcane knowledge that we wouldn't otherwise know. Yeah, and I, I actually did learn a couple things. You're walking away from here knowing what now that you didn't know before? I know about uh, who invented the battery. I know uh, quite a bit about some very famous artists. And... Uh, and I was glad to share a bit of trivia that I had brought about crazy cartoonist Frank Miller. <laughs> Except I really got the vibe that when Graham showed up and saw me preparing the trivia, he was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to have trivia. <laughs> and he like, right onto the Google right away. I better come up with something. <laughs> I picture that's how you went through school, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Except it was pre-Google. <laughs> right. So it was all me looking at a calculator. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> this thing doesn't do anything. <laughs> Help me up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> just That's back in the day we just made stuff up. Oh, yeah. The onus was on the teacher to go look it up and research to see if it was right. Are you sure that's not right? <laughs> <laughs> anything you wish we would have covered that we didn't? No, I, I didn't. I didn't go into this with any expectations, so I feel like uh, I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> so tune in to uh, thebuttpod.com when it uh, hits the airwaves. Oh, I'll put down here roughly when I think I'll have it edited <laughs> enough. Yeah, I'm trying to put these out once a week. I went a hell of a long time. I had a bit of downtime as we produced <laughs> Corner Gas Animated. Yeah, I don't know why I started a podcast while I was producing a because you're a new animated series. <laughs> But I, I just kind of keep thinking, yeah, I'll do that. And then uh, I do it half-acidly. 
Or not at all. Yeah. Remember, kids, no acidly is a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. You can just think of stuff to do, and if it doesn't pan out, relax. Be cool. Somebody else will make a podcast. The people who love you will love you regardless. <laughs> and if they don't, sayonara. <laughs> All right. Hey, where can people get a hold of you, uh, Graham Clark? Uh, at Graham Clark on Twitter. I that, know that. Yeah, that's the place. Go, go to Twitter. That's the most. That's where I'm having the most fun. <laughs> and if uh, if you catch me late at night, I'll be uh, recapping things like Commando or Predator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell your friends about the Butt Pod, uh, both the YouTube channel here and the podcast at thebuttpod.com, and uh, check out Graham Clark. It was a lot of fun chatting with you. Thanks for Thanks coming for by. Thanks for having me. Yeah.